Hey guys, Matt here and welcome to another installment of a fragrance review. Hope you're all doing very well tonight. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a very unique fragrance, a scent that not a lot of people talk about. And I think the reason it doesn't get talked about a lot is because of the, the fragrance house it comes from, Yves Rocher. Now, Yves Rocher aren't exactly known as, you know, a go-to fragrance house. More of a cosmetic brand in France. They're not really known for creating fragrances. Well, they are, but they're not at the same time. They're mostly known for their creams and their lotions. Now, I've sprayed the fragrance that we're going to review on this card, and this fragrance, in my opinion, is a... I don't want to say the word because it's, it's a bold statement, but it is a masterpiece to me. This is definitely a masterpiece because I don't have anything else in my collection which smells like this. To me, it's, it's sort of an avant-garde scent, even though I don't know who designed it. To me, the fragrance itself is just very pleasant. It, it puts a smile on my face, this one. And the fragrance I'm talking about is the very rare, like I said before, very unheard of, Aerial by Yves Rocher. Now this fragrance was released in 2002. So it comes from a time when fragrances were just starting to become a new craze. Like they were starting to smell a little bit different than they did in the 80s and the 90s. Now I could tell you how fragrances used to smell, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail. In the early 2000s, however, fragrances started to take a bit more of a clean approach, especially the men's fragrances. They started getting a little bit more interesting and a little bit sweeter. This is definitely one of these fragrances. Now, I couldn't tell you what Aerial means, I don't know what the fragrance is standing for, but it is an absolute beauty, guys. An absolute beauty. I love the colour of the juice, I love the ball design, I think it's, I think it's very artistic, to be fair. Simple, but quite artistic. Now, Let's talk about the notes. Aerial is a fresh, spicy, mint, ginger, vanilla scent. There's little touches of rosemary that I get in here, so there's definitely a herbal sort of approach with this fragrance. A bit of a greenness to it as well. But this, to me, is all about the ambers. And I just really think that the way this fragrance smells, considering it comes from Yves Rocher, it smells quite high quality. It does smell high quality. Now, I haven't actually smelled a lot of other men's fragrances from Yves Rocher. I've smelled a few perfumes. I've actually, I've actually, I actually own a few fragrances uh, for women from this house, and they are high quality. Considering this is almost a 20 year old fragrance, it is just brilliant. It really is. Now, I'm gonna spray it on my skin. Now the fragrance opens up when zesty, but not in the same way as a lemon zest or even a lime zest. You're getting a bergamot with a very, quite potent ginger, but the ginger works in its fresh way. It doesn't, it has a touch of spice, but this is a very fresh ginger. Very, very fresh. It's not like a ginger ale. It's not like, you know, a ginger biscuit or anything like that. You know when you imagine what ginger smells like? It's not really like that. The ginger in this is almost, uh, almost doughy in a very strange way. And I think that's because the vanilla in this is quite heavy. We're also getting benzoin, amber, and patchouli. So it's a very green, fresh, uh, vanilla amber scent. That's pretty much what this is. But the way it comes across, it comes across very casual at the same time. So you could definitely wear this to a formal dressing, although it works absolutely perfectly as a casual scent. When it comes to the overall structure of the scent, the base is definitely the, the, the main player. So it's a very base heavy scent. The opening, you do get little touches of that mint and bergamot, but kind of evaporates after about 10 minutes. 
And then what you're left with is a very nice vanilla. And I cannot mention how nice the vanilla is anymore. It's just very likable. The way the ginger works, it's, it's actually quite strong in the opening, but even though it's a base note in this fragrance, it's actually not that polarizing in the base. So like I said, it's all about the vanilla, little bits of uh, patchouli touchness in there as well. Uh, but it's all about the benzo as well. So very resinous, but just know that you are getting that little touch of citrus. So yeah, guys, this review isn't as long as always. Um, this isn't really a massively complex scent, but it is a scent that I do absolutely love. And I think if there are any uh, vintage frog heads out there, if you are curious about this scent, I would highly recommend going and checking it out because it is definitely worth owning. And I just think it's a bit underappreciated, the fact that it's not really known. So if you can get a hold of it, get it. It is good stuff, I promise you. So the performance is also very decent. Um, even though this is an eau de toilette, it kind of behaves like an eau de parfum because it goes on quite strong, to be fair, even though it's a base heavy scent as well. Usually base heavy scents tend to be eau de parfums or pure parfums. An eau de toilette is usually very, uh, uh, very top heavy. This is base heavy, which I do find quite peculiar. It might be because of its age that some of the oils might have, um, you know, they might have fermented for a little bit longer. I don't know, but it is a strong scent. So if you're going to wear this, three sprays on the neck is probably enough and it will last you a good seven to eight hours. Again, it's, it's unheard of, but it's certainly not a scent you should ignore. Thanks a lot guys for watching this review. If you want to see any more videos on my channel, don't be afraid to hit the notification bell. And if you want to see any more from me, uh, hit subscribe. I don't really like to say hit subscribe, but if you guys would like to, um, it, it does actually help out my channel. Um, it's something that I do not talk about again. I don't like to ask for people to follow, but for people to follow me and to check out my videos really does mean a lot because I do put a lot of work into these, even though I'm not the most uh, high definition reviewer on YouTube. I do enjoy this as more of a passion. It does make a big difference when I know that you guys are enjoying my videos. So do let me know in the comments um, if you've enjoyed this review. If you own a Rio, let me know. Jonathan, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Keep smelling good and bye-bye for now.